The S-211 is a turbofan-powered military trainer aircraft designed and originally marketed by Italian aviation manufacturer SIAI Marchetti. The S-211's development started in 1976 as a private venture initiative, announcing its existence during the following year. On April 10, 1981, the first prototype performed its maiden flight. The Singapore Air Force placed the first order for 10 aircraft in 1983. Some 60 aircraft have been sold to air forces around the world. The S-211 is a compact two-seat shoulder-wing monoplane, possessing a full aerobatic capability. It is furnished with a retractable tricycle landing gear and is powered by a single, Pratt & Whitney Canada, JT-15D4C, turbofan powerplant with 2,500 pounds of thrust. It has been principally used as a basic trainer aircraft, the student and instructor being seated in a tandem arrangement, the front and rear cockpits are fully duplicated, the latter being elevated above the former to provide the occupant with improved forward visibility. For greater crew comfort, an automatically adjusting environmental control system is installed, it uses a non-ozone depleting vapor cycle for cooling, combined with bleed air drawn from the engine for heat and pressurization. Both pilots, seat on Martin Baker MK-10, 00 ejection seats, under a single-piece canopy, that is hinged to the right side. The undercarriage is fully retractable, and consists of a pair of single-wheel, main legs, and a single-wheel, nose leg. The avionics of the S-211 were designed to be customizable, allowing the manufacturer to adopt a customer's various mission requirements. In a typical configuration, it is equipped with VHF-UHF communications suite, multiple navigation systems, such as an attitude and heading reference system, horizontal situation indicator, automatic direction finding, VHF omnidirectional range and instrument landing system, a tactical air navigation system and identification friend or foe transponder. Its single JT-15D4C engine provides a maximum thrust output of 11.12 kN or 2,500 pounds. This powerplant facilitates a maximum speed of 460 knots or 667 km per hour at 25,000 feet and a rate of climb of 5,100 feet per minute. Fuel is housed internally within both the integral wing tank and a bladder cell within the fuselage, accommodating a combined 955 liters or 210 US gallons. Fuel is transferred between the various tanks and to the engine via a double-ended turbine pump. Ground refueling involves a single fill point present on the wing, which is fed either by gravity flow or by an optionally installed pressurized refueling system. For greater range, a maximum of two drop tanks can be installed upon the inner hard points of the wing, each having a capacity of 323 liters or 71 US gallons. Since the 1990s, the Philippine Air Force has been using its S-211 fleet both as a trainer and in offensive operations via secondary attack capability. These were redesignated as AS-211s and nicknamed as Warriors. Following the retirement of the Philippine Air Force's last Northrop F-5 fighters in 2005, the additional task of air defense has also been assigned to its AS-211s. Because of this, the Philippine Air Force initiated some improvements to the AS-211s to improve its combat capability through a series of programs and innovations. The first program was called Project Falcon, which installed the Norsight optical sight previously fitted to withdrawn F-5s into the AS-211. The program was initiated by Lt. Col. Enrique de la Cruz, the group commander of the 5th Tactical Fighter Group. This was followed by the Project Falcon Uniform program, which repainted the aircraft with a two-tone light and dark ghost gray paint scheme along with low visibility markings, which reduces the aircraft's overall visibility. The Project Falcon Here program involved the optimizing of air ground communications on the AS-211 by upgrading and installing the ANARC-34 UHF radios from the F-5. These aircraft were also fitted with a belly-mounted gun pod, which was designed, developed and manufactured by Philippine company Aerotech Industries Philippines Incorporated. 
Each gun pod is equipped with an M3.50 caliber machine gun, an automatic charger and approximately 240 rounds of ammunition. The Philippine Air Force ordered 25 aircraft, including one partially completed airframe for spare parts and 15 assembled locally by Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation. The armed version, AS-211, was flown by the 7th Tactical Fighter Squadron, the Bulldogs, before transitioning to the Korea Aerospace Industries FA-50PH Fighting Eagle. The S-211 is being flown by the 105th Fighter Training Squadron, Blackjacks, as a basic jet trainer for the FA-50. Aircraft statistics, length, 9.31 meters or 30 feet 7 inches. Wingspan, 8.43 meters or 27 feet 8 inches. Height, 3.8 meters or 12 feet 6 inches. Wing area, 12.6 square meters or 136 square feet. Empty weight, 1,850 kilograms or 4,079 pounds. Maximum takeoff weight, 2,750 kilograms or 6,063 pounds in trainer configuration. 3,150 kilograms or 6,940 pounds for the armed version. Aircraft performance, maximum speed, 667 kilometers per hour or 360 knots, at 25,000 feet, stall speed, 138 kilometers per hour or 75 knots, Flaps down, range, 1,668 kilometers or 901 nautical miles, maximum on internal fuel with 30 minutes reserve fuel. Ferry range, 2,483 kilometers or 1,341 nautical miles, with maximum internal and external fuel. Endurance, 3 hours 50 minutes, with 30 minutes fuel reserve. Service ceiling. 12,200 meters or 40,000 feet, G limits, plus 6, minus 3, in clean configuration, plus 5, minus 2.5, with external stores, maximum sustained load at 15,010 feet, 3.4 Gs, rate of climb, 21.3 meters per second or 4,199.4 feet per minute, time to altitude. 6,100 meters or 20,000 feet, in 6 minutes 12 seconds, takeoff distance, 390 meters or 1,280 feet, at sea level, landing distance, 361 meters or 1,184 feet, at sea level. Armament, AS-211, Warrior, Guns, Centerline Hardpoint Gun Pod, with an M3, 0.50 caliber machine gun, with 240 rounds of ammunition. Hardpoints, 4 wing hardpoints, with a maximum total capacity of 660 kg or 1,460 pounds, carrying unguided bombs and rockets. The airframe design makes wide use of structural bonding and composite materials, including Kevlar, Nomex and carbon fiber composites, the flight controls feature all push-pull rod primary controls and boosted ailerons. The landing gear, air brake, refrigerant compressor and aileron booster are hydraulically operated. The aircraft's electrical system is based on a 28-volt DC negative ground system powered by engine-driven starter generator. A nickel-cadmium battery is provided for engine starting and operation in emergency conditions. Two static inverters provide the AC supply for instruments and avionics. The S-211 falls into a specially identified category of aircraft that are procured with the primary intention of training up and coming pilots on a jet-powered platform while offering strike capabilities as secondary. Such designs generally rely upon a basic airframe with modern equipment and access to basic ordnance options. The crew of two undoubtedly spreads the workload about and the jet propulsion supplies the needed performance capabilities for the low-level strike roles. The S-211 is the world's first true very light jet. The Philippine Air Force is the only remaining active military operator of the S-211. Recently, it has been used to carry out visual reconnaissance missions over the Spratly Islands and over Mischief Reef while carrying two 270-liter wing tanks to extend its range. 
The S-211 is an integral part of the Philippine Air Force's thrust, of establishing and maintaining a steady training stream of proficient pilots, as a prerequisite for, building a strong, sustainable, and effective, fast jet combat force especially now that the multi-role fighter project is being tendered. Fly High, Philippine Air Force. Thank you, to the gallant men, and women in service.